For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the AFC Women in Career Mode in FIFA 17. We are only, what, five games left to go. We only have five games left to go in this first transfer window. And I'm hoping we can still make maybe one or two or potentially even more signings and maybe a few more players to leave the club as well bring in some cash. Basically, we've got a lot left to do in just five days. Before we do any of that, though, we have one more game left to get through, and that is the game against Aston Villa. We're going away. We'll hopefully get that guy. We'll hopefully keep this win streak of ours alive. It's been unbelievable. Every single game we played this season has been a win. We will see if we can keep it going with this game against Aston Villa. They haven't had the best start ever. They've got one win, two draws, and one loss from their first four games. Nothing too terrible, nothing too drastic, but hopefully we can give them that second loss. But anyway, Moving on, before we do play this game, I'll let you know that if we can hit 2,000 likes on this video, I'm going to upload a brand new video when we do hit the target. So Villa Park is where we'll play our first game in this episode. We will have another game played at some point, I'm sure, but we still want to keep focusing on transfers. So let's get this game out of the way. Hopefully go for win number... I think this would be win number six, or maybe even win number seven. No, it would be win number seven. This is our seventh game of the season. We've won all of our previous six. Can we keep this going? Let's go. Playing in League One last season, we didn't really get the opportunity to play, if any, games at, in the league actually in a real-life stadium. So now we get to play at Villa Park. And against opposition that on paper I would imagine are quite decent, haven't really been able to put it together in the league. Very early start though. But let's see. Seven wins in a row. This is what we're playing for. Oh, Yednak, what a back heel. But what a tackle from Gonzalez. And are we away here? We have Gonzalez and Kelly Evans. Maybe... No, I think I was a bit too early there, but that's okay. We're still attacking. Do we have the support? Up the middle now. It could be. Ivan, maybe the whole way. Andre Ivan has blasted it past in an absolutely lethal counter-attack. The man that's bagging all the goals right now gets his first within seven minutes. Derelis Gonzalez and Kelly Evans ran all the way, like literally from almost the goal line, and that was not... An amazing finish. I thought that was banging in the top left-hand corner. That was quite close to the keeper, but the keeper has done absolutely nothing but just watch it go past him. Oh, what a back heel. That's worked out for him. And the shot is blocked by Metz. Falls to one of theirs. Kelly Evans, a strong header away. And how do we counter-attack from here? Ivan, Mastor, still looking. Slide tackle. Evades. No, he just can't keep his feet. Nice. Kelly Evans, bang! Oh, what a goal! Kelly Evans from about 35-something yards out. That is a screamer. Look at this. I was thinking about giving Kelly Evans a shot, but before I did, I wanted to pass to the other player in space so that way the defender would come and Kelly Evans would get all the space that he needed. And in the end, this shot, I don't think it's been deflected or anything like that. It's just an absolute perler. Oh, my God. Look at the right-hand side. It's just totally open. It is gaping. Adamoa, shot wide. And now the second half starts up. We have had a tremendous first half, that's for sure. I mean, they occasionally get forward Aston Villa, but I don't really think they're giving me too much trouble. Oh, slowly working this. To the left, and no, I've made a meal of this. Lacazette still going. Can't shoot. Maybe Scowan, though, saved. That turned into a fucking debacle. But I'm, yeah, so I'm sorry about that. I should have scored. Scowan, how much pace does he have? Whatever pace he has, he's going to try to use. But Henry Lansbury apparently has 90 fucking pace in this game. He literally has been able to catch not just Scowan, but players like Gonzalez all game long. When Henry Lansbury is able to catch fucking speedy Gonzalez, you know that there's a bit of bullshit going on right there. Anyway, moving on. Federico Barber off to the right. Scowan trying to turn his man does that. Still waiting and waiting. And are we in here? No, it's over hit. He needed to have taken a touch there, mate. Come on. But that's okay. Wow. Uh, a full time caught up on me. It, it, it snuck up on me, sorry. Anyway, moving on. That's fine. A 2 0 win. We got all the goals and all the business done in the first half. And the second half was just back end to end, end, end stuff. It was just like fucking just get it out, just get it over with. But yeah, took care of business in the first half and we end up winning 2 0. We have a man of the match. Of course, it goes to Dion Kelly Evans for at least FIFA with a 9.1. Has had another blinding game, not only defensively, but even scored a banging free, or not even a free kick, just a 35 yard, something like that, screamer. Dion Kelly Evans. No way he doesn't get man of the match in this one. I'm sorry. We did have Gonzalez and Ivan and Lacazette, who was good, and a few other players that were a bit quiet, unfortunately, for them. But still, Keir, uh, Dion Kelly Evans has to get man of the match for this one. Absolutely stunning performance from him. 9.1 added to his total. 
And after coming out of that game, we are getting more offers for Ronwin Williams. I think we're about to get bombarded with offers for him, which is why I really feel confident that I might be able to sell him on for about three million, which will end up being like pretty much double his value. If we can sell him for that, I will happily do so. And then we can put Harvey Cooper in goal. Even Darby going in for him as well. So yeah, counter off of three million. I think Darby should be able to pay that. I'm, I would like to think so anyway, out of all the clubs that have gone in for him. We're waiting to hear back from everyone and we just get a bunch of emails the very next day. Contract offer accepted from Ryan Kent, which is good. More transfer offers for Ronwin Williams. And have a look at this, 2.7. That would literally be all the cash that they have if they're that specific. But I'm not going to accept Ryan Kent's contract offer just yet because... I'm still going in. You remember the other left back that we were taking a look at before, um, Adeg Benro. I think that I might actually still end up may maybe signing him only because over Ryan Kent. Only because, like, when it comes to wages and stuff like that, I did the math a bit, and Ryan Kent's wage is like 50 grand. This guy's wage is five grand. So if you actually do the math, 50 grand compared to five grand is something like two to 2.5 million dollars worth of a difference if you do the uh, changes to the transfer budget. So the fact is we could get, in my opinion, honestly, the better player for, in the grand scheme of things, cheaper if we were to go for him. So I might potentially look at signing him instead. We also have another contract offer except for Tafari Moore. I needed a new right back. We're getting one for cheap here. Again, he does have a fair wage, but it's not 50 grand. It's only the 15. So yes, we can accept. Another transfer offer, this time for another goalkeeper of ours. And I'm not even going to bother asking for more. We're just going to accept. This is a guy that I just kind of want to sell off. He doesn't have a super high potential. We'll just get rid of Joe McDonald. So while Fraser Ed is injured for the next couple of months, unfortunately, at least we have a backup right back now in Tafari Moore that we can count on. We still don't appear to have anyone accepting for the 3 million and apparently they want 5.5 million for Attic Benro and it looks like maybe we might not even be able to sign him because the fact that it's not even giving me the option, I think we've lost him. I don't think we're going to be able to sign him now. Here's another transfer offer for another player I'm looking to get rid of. Again, I think I'm just going to counter for what he's worth. So if you're willing to pay that, then you can have him. And I just cannot seem to get 3 million for this guy, although I'm getting very, very close. So Derby County have uh, counter offered the most. It's only 200 grand less. I'm going to accept that. So we're going to move on Williams and Cooper will get the starting 11 spot. Well then, it looks like we're going to have to go for Ryan Kent. It would have been nice to have maybe gone for Samuel Attic Benro because I really do think in the end he would have actually costs us a little bit less. He's a slightly higher rated player, although Ryan Kent is younger. We are still technically getting him like on the cheap, although his wage is quite a fair bit. But either way though, I'm going to go for it. 2.7 million, that's half a mil less than his actual value. He's only going to continue to get better. And anything that benches for the time being Archie Mason, seriously. So Ryan Kent, welcome into the team. Yes, adjust the budget. We are done. So Archie Mason goes on the bench for now then. A left midfielder that can play at right mid. Again, that bloody weak foot though. He'll be absolutely useless on the right. He's useless on the left. He's useless fucking everywhere. He's Archie Mason. But anyway, we do have at least now Ryan Kent. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. A little bit older, but again, can play on both sides too. And he does look like he could be tremendous for us at that spot. I have got Ryan Kent before and he has been good for me. That's almost part of the reason why I wanted to go for Attic Benro as well. Go for someone else. Go for someone new, but... In the end, he already goes, he's sold, so that's that. And speaking of players sold, we have McDonald gone, and we also have Ron uh, Williams. He's now going to go. We get $1.9 million into the budget. But again, honestly, we've made so many moves. I'm kind of fine with the players that we have now. If there is another transfer offer that comes our way, another player that maybe we might be able to sell on, one of the Deadwood players I'd like to get rid of, then I'll be sure to do so. For now, though, I just continue to advance and wait to see if we get one more offer. It needs to come right now, and I don't think it's going to happen. I think the plays that we have right now are the plays we'll have until at least January. I've definitely seen bigger deadline days for sure, but 300 million or around about 300 million, just less than. That's what's going to get spent. And that's quite a fair bit of cash. Ryan Kent too, by the way, has already gone up to a 72. So I'm going to take that. That probably means his value's gone up by a bit as well. From 3.2 mil all the way up to 4.1, just like that. And we bought him for 2.7. He may have an extraordinarily high wage, but still... He's, he's going to continue to get even better for us. He could prove to be a very good investment, at least. Just moving around the drills a little bit, nothing too crazy. Cooper's actually gone up to a 70 rating as well. I only just saw that. That's He's flying so far. He's probably grown like five or close to five overall already in this one season. I'm not even joking. Maybe four, I think, if we're going to be specific. But wow, 
Uh, Hatchin Mastor is going to get some drills as well. Uh, he's going to get replaced with, or Dazelle's drills are going to get replaced with Mastor's. And let's do it then. These are the drills I'm going to keep going with. I might maybe change up Cooper's drills because we've been training up his positioning, his reflexes, and his diving quite a fair bit. Maybe I might look to train his other two goalkeeping stats as well. The next game we have coming up will be against Bolton though, and I am not sure how well they're doing. We also have a game against, uh, what am I saying, Middlesbrough. Whoever's doing better out of those two, I might go for. Oh yeah, clearly Middlesbrough. They're the team that's right behind us at the moment on four wins and one loss. So yeah, we're definitely going to be simulating that game against, uh, especially since it's the home game. We'll play the away game against Middlesbrough. This is pretty risky too, but as you can see, I've put the second team out there as well. Only because we have a game so, so close, only a few days later against Middlesbrough. Uh, against Middlesbrough, I want my best team out there and to be as fit as possible. Skip. 1-1 one, one draw, it's over. The win streak has come to a halt, it's over. It lasted how long? Seven games? I'm going to take that. Seven games right out of the start of the season, we have won. And from the end of things, I don't know, we've, we took the lead, we let it slip about a couple of minutes later. Oh well, we, had to, we weren't going to win them all. And a surprising man of the match recipient, not Andre Dezel for scoring the goal, instead John Meads with a... One assist, just providing the assist for the goal, but a seven rating. But okay, bring it on then. This is going to be the second Premier League team that was relegated in the season prior that we are about to play, Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium then. Okay, two games today that we're going to play. They're both going to be away and both in actual stadiums. I appreciate that, but here we go. That's a pretty good starting 11 as well. We got Mastor slowly getting up there. A lot of other players that are slowly climbing up in their overall. Ryan Kent's already up to a 72, his first game, and Cooper's first game in goal. Let's get it. Ryan Kent then making his debut. Is he going to be hopefully way better than freaking Archie Mason has been? I mean, I know I may be potentially being hard on Archie Mason. It's not like he was completely useless for me, but I mean, he's I, he's just abs always going to be stacked up to Kenny Prince Schwab. The two plays that we got on future scout, you know, from the catalog, two future scout, um, two future stars that have been scouted, and I mean, he's just. He's just the complete opposite of Kenny Prince Schwab. He's, he's not iconic. He doesn't have an iconic name. He's just a nothing player. I'm hoping in the future he can develop into a superstar. But, oh, I'm telling you what, boys. I, I, I can't stop talking about how bloody disappointing he's been. I'm seriously gutted. I know Ryan Kent's going to be better, or at least way, way better. So, yeah, let's get this. Decent build-up play this, you know. What a cross. Header. Ivan. Oh, side netting. Oh, boy. Oh, well, that was very close. This could be a mistake. Yep, I thought that was a mistake. All right, I gambled on winning that ball back. What a absolute ridiculous shot that was. But Harry, or Harvey, sorry, Harry Cooper. Harvey Cooper is equal to it. What a save. That is a ridiculously good save. What an absolute thunder you know what of a shot as well. Can't believe we are 1-0 down right now. Had they scored that, I, oh, I would have been screaming for them. That would have been an unreal goal. There we go. Good work. Decent turn. On the volley. Bang! Oh! No way! What a goal! What an absolute streamer! From miles out! On the volley! What a shot! Is this recording? Yes, it is! What a goal! Oh, we might never see any better. What is this? Crossed in, cleared away, bang! Oh my goodness! No, 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 that did not just happen. Josh Scowan, an absolute amazing goal from the top draw. Oh, it just sat for him, didn't it? So perfectly. We are, we, we just have to end the career mode. It's over, it's done. It's not getting any better than that. What a goal. I, oh, oh my God, what a finish, son. That is absolutely going to be, I can't see myself beating that. That is the best goal that you will see in potentially FIFA 17 career modes. Whew, that is, oh, gonna take me, I'm out of breath after that. My goodness, but let's get back on track. Ryan Kent, Sean Kelly, square it up into the middle. Can Scowan do it again? No, it's a little too close. Unfortunately, not finding the top right-hand corner that time. I can see the gap. I can see it. Ryan Kent, maybe on debut, a little fake shot to get around. Shot, oh, just going wide. Oh, very close. Very, very close, son. Another slide tackle from Metz. He's ruthless, this fella. I love him. Ivan up the middle. Oh, chance here for the dinky dink. 
Oh, put it wide. And that would have been close as well. Did he get a hand to a Muslera? I think he may have. Well, half time then. We could have had two. I maybe should have tried even going around the goalkeeper, but still... Ah, unfortunate. That's okay. We are at least 1-0 up still through the most unreal of goals by Josh Gowan. I'm still in shock. Nicely done. And now Hatchie Mastor. Still not completely through here. I've got Ivan. Or maybe not. Maybe instead it saved Muslera. I was going for the bottom left-hand corner. Completely got the totally opposite direction. Gonzalez surely blocking foul. Referee! And where the fuck is Tafari Moore? He is nowhere to be seen. Where are you, son? You're in no man's land. You're a right back. Where the fuck were you? Barber, what an awful touch! Cooper with a save. Federico Barber, what the fuck? They've got everyone up forward too, you know. I've got one of my plays running up forward. Clear it up. Whack it upfield. There we go. This could be it. Get on your bike, son. Who is this? Andre Dazelle. Surely this is it. Surely we can wrap it up here. Come on, keep it calm, keep it calm, keep it calm, and bang! Rifled in in the top right-hand corner. It was calm. He had all the space in the world. A freaking paddock. The entire second half of the pitch. Oh, my goodness. There we go. It's wrapped up. 2-0. We can watch the replay. Why not? I mean, it's maybe not as good of a goal as the first one we scored today, but still. And are we away again here? Are we away again? I had my options, but now they're gone. But no, it's okay, because Dazelle's actually in still. Maybe he can get two. He could, and he will! Oh, he's got two! He's got a brace! Unbelievable! Is there a chance we could get him a 10-minute or less hatchery? Come on, boys. I, I kind of want to see if we can make this happen. Let's go. It's crazy how this game was so close, and then with 10 minutes left to go, they dedicate everyone up forward. I have all the space in the world to attack, and I've already bagged two. All right, let's go. I'm going to try to push the tempo here. That's not really the throw I was going for, but... We are still away here. Dazelle is so far away. I don't think I'll be able to get the ball to him unless I try to hold it up somehow. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. I'm literally just trying. Oh, there he is. Dazelle. Back to him. Can I go for the long shot? Nah, I'm not. I try to go around Brannigan. He has to be the party pooper. I could have scored a fourth. I honestly did, but I was so keen on trying to get Dazelle the hat trick. Whatever, though. It's good. We win 3-0. And wow. We will... Oh, that first goal. Seriously, we've scored some decent goals already in this career mode, but that is by far and probably un untoppable. I mean, that is... It's extraordinary. And Andre Dezel coming off the bench and scoring two. What do we do now? I felt like I had a pretty clear man of the match, but now he's thrown a spanner in the works. Okay, here's what's up. Before Andre Dezel got subbed on and just scored two incredible goals within just a few minutes, or maybe not incredible goals, but scored incredibly two goals within just a few minutes, this was what was up. I was probably going to give Josh Scowen the man of the match, because apart from his wonder goal, he had a great game. And then I was going to very closely say that uh, Carol Metz came in second. But now, Carol Metz has come in third, because Dazelle's just come in and done amazingly. But I don't think Dazelle... I, oh, man. I mean, uh, some of you... Are, I know that some of you probably are going to agree with me that, yeah, Josh Scowen probably deserves it, because he's played the full game, scored a great goal, and did more throughout the entire match. He played the whole match. And then some of you will think, no, Dizelle scored more, one more goal in a short amount of time. Whatever, it doesn't matter, and he should get man of the match. But I'm so torn when it comes to this. It's, a, it's an interesting issue. But I think Andre Dizelle, it's one of those ones where, man, I wish I could give more than one. But nah, I'm going to give it to Scowen. It, it always was going to be Scowen. I, I had it decided right even before the first goal for Dizelle went in. So nah, that's that. I'm going to give it to Josh Scowen. 9.3. Incredible. His best performance so far and the best goal that we have scored so far. But that is crazy. We had not only the second best goal of the season scored so far by Dion Kelly Evans in the Aston Villa game. We also had probably, and what will surely be not just goal of the season, but goal of the entire series scored by Josh Scowen. And then we also had a fantastic save by ha um, Harvey Cooper as well. If you remember right at the start, that absolutely banging shot that was heading for the top right-hand corner that Cooper somehow managed to stop. It was an absolute rocket and Cooper managed to keep it out, which was incredible. That was his first save for Wimbledon as well. Amazing. We've had goal of the season and save of the season in the same game. But we are going to leave things here. This game against Sheffield Wednesday will be the first one in the next episode. We are halfway through September. When we do get to the end of September or 1st of October, I'm going to do my very first player of the season update. I'll show you who's leading the race at the moment for the player of the season, who's got how many man of the matches and how many points everyone's on. But yes, that will do it for this episode, guys. And what an episode. Literally, this I think could be the best episode that we've had so far of the series. My God. 
It'll be hard to top. Anyway, moving on. That will do it for me. Until next time, guys, my name's Masterbikes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.